when's the last time I tried dancing? Pop. Oh. When's the last time I tried dancing? Maybe at some festival back in grade school? Well, we said we'd do it, so let's give it a shot. How about we start learning the basics? Or should we just dive right in? What? I've always been into the phys ed stuff, you know me. <laughs> Besides, you know what they say. When in Rome, dance like a freaking badass, <laughs> right? Get over how cool this imagination power is. Oh, I wish we could dance like that in the real world. Oh, I want to go to the club and get down. The chicks would be all over me. I know, I know. But what's wrong with having a little fun? After keeping shit secret with the Phantom Thieves for so long, I just want to let loose. I can't help it, man. It's like being in track again, working out and working together. You know what I mean, right? Yeah, passion. I live for that stuff, man. Oh, I know, when we get back to the real world, let's make a school dancing club. It doesn't have to be dancing, I guess, but just something active while we're still young, you know? You play it cool, but I know the truth. You've got sports club written all over you. Remember how we trained together? You showed some serious potential. Oh, crap. Didn't they say we're gonna forget all this when we wake up? Hey, maybe if we really go all out on this, it'll stick in our minds even after we wake up. Like, burning this dance right onto our souls. All right, I'm pumped. Let's bust a move, bro. Hey, this place is in a dream, right? Do you think we still need to eat? I mean, it'd suck if we had to practice on an empty stomach. All I've got in my room is instant ramen. That's not gonna last long. Can't practice without fuel. Anyone who works out knows that. Anyway, I found a pizza delivery ad in my room, so I gave him a call. But guess who picked up the phone? Those little twins. I just heard a voice yelling, what do you want? So I freaked out and hung up. I should have known not to trust the phone lines in this place. It is a dream, after all. Well, I kept on going and hit up the number on a flyer for boxed lunch delivery. Who do you think picked up this time? Why would it be my mom? She's probably asleep right now. It was those twins again. I got a whispery little, what is it? And I slammed the phone down. But here's the real juicy part. <clears throat> I found one more flyer. The one we called with Mishima that one time. Remember it? You know, the, uh, <clears throat> maid service? I had to call it. But surprise, surprise, it was the twins. I got a pissed off, stop pestering us. But this time, they said one more thing. You want someone to clean up your messes? Fine. Are we gonna get a homemade meal with this? What should we ask her to make? Uh, what's the point of that? I can make that myself. Then again, I'd feel like a king having someone else do the dirty work. <laughs> Not a bad deal. 
They told me to wait here in the main area. That's why I called you over. She's gotta be here any minute now. Sit tight. Uh, oh, what are you two doing here? Practicing? Uh, yeah. <laughs> something, something like that. Anyway, uh, we're gonna be using this room for a while, so you might want to come back later. Hmm, <laughs> that's not good. I was instructed to come here now. Huh? I was just resting in my room when I got a call. Surprised, I picked it up and it was the twins. They told me someone was waiting for me here and that I'd understand when I arrived. What? Do either of you know what they were talking about? Not at all. Hey, don't throw me under the bus! Well, I take it you two were the ones who called me here. Do you have an explanation for this? If you don't give me a good reason... It's nothing, I swear! Come to think of it, we never heard much about your high school, Yusuke. Kosei, right? What's it like? Our school traditionally places value on the individuality of each student. Its art program is intertwined with university preparation and aims to foster diverse skill sets. That's not what I'm talking about. I'll be straight up. How are the girls? Any of them pop the old aesthetic radar? Eh? Aesthetic radar. Indeed, that occurs rather frequently. Oh yeah? Fill us in! All living beings hold undisclosed beauty. Only in fleeting moments is that beauty exposed. As an artist, I refuse to allow even the slightest glimpse of it to escape my gaze. It is for this reason that I carry my aesthetic antenna high in the air. With this approach, my radar is always going off. You're missing the point! Uh, let's try this again. Are the girls cute? I see, so that was your intention. If I were to use my own definition, the answer may not be relevant to you. I must know your tastes. My tastes? Let's see. If I had to choose, guess I'd go with a toned fit girl with a nice tan. But I gotta say, it's hard to pass up the shy bookie type with glasses, too. So in summary, you have no preferences at all. Simply put, you are a desperate scavenger. Ugh, do you have to say it like that? Let us move on from such pitiful convictions. Joker, what qualities do you value in a woman? It's okay to be honest, you know. He's right. Internal beauty cannot be overlooked. It is an essential quality of a fine woman. Shall I go next? The kind of woman I desire would surely be... Don't care. Enough out of you. Kinda nice getting to have some normal ass guy talk. Indeed. The Phantom Thieves kept us so occupied we sorely lacked this kind of opportunity. Here we are, just shooting the shit and dancing our hearts out. Is this our reward for all the crap we went through? Man, good thing I busted my ass. This experience has been peculiar, but not at all unpleasant. Let us enjoy ourselves to the fullest. Kinda sucks that we're just gonna forget it, though. If I suddenly showed up at school with mad dance skills, things would really turn around for... Wait, one effing second! I just remembered who else goes to Kosei. That shogi playing beauty! You've 
met her before, right? In the, in the church? What's she like? Uh, you're not doing anything shady, are you? I don't want to see your name on the fan site. Jeez, your connections are a freaking mystery, man. You even got the in with a hot doctor. There's gotta be more where she came from. Come on, man, hook us up. Oh, getting all defensive, are ya? What have you got to hide? They say that all's fair in love and war. We need to set the record straight. You're going to tell us everything. Prepare yourself. Yeah, time to let the cat out of the bag. to use our imagination to dance, but it's so hard to stay concentrated. I always mess up the second half. Do you have any tips for making it through to the end? First off, you gotta drink a lot of fluids. Easy to get dehydrated when you're sweating it out. If you lose even 1% of your body weight, it'll throw everything out of whack, body and mind. Really? I knew water was the trickiest part of gardening, but dancing too? Well, you gotta start sipping way before you think you need it. If you're thirsty, it's too late. Then when you're done, you gotta rest your muscles. Give them time to recover. Chill for a bit, do a few stretches to get the lactic acid moving, eat some protein. Wow, you know a lot about this. Did you study it all on your own? Eh, yeah, something like that. Don't know if it works the same way in this weird dream, though. supposed to mean? I know all kinds of shit like this. I mean, this is all just because I hate losing. Having guts only takes you so far. I never knew all this. Could you teach me more? You got it. You guys can be my pupils. All right, Sensei, show me what's up. Wait, what? I'm the one who taught you all that stuff. <laughs> Seems like fun. Maybe I'll take you up on that offer. But honestly, I'm surprised by your dedicated mentality. It's not what I'd expect just by looking at you. I guess you really can't judge a book by its cover. Yeah, I'm used to that kind of misunderstanding. But I can't complain. A certain someone we know turned out to be a real cool dude. Even after all that shit talking. I just gotta live my life without worrying about that stuff. Like he does, you know? <laughs> That's a nice way to think about it. Talking with you has really shown me a lot of great things about you, Ryuji. Oh, yeah? Could you name a few? Uh, you know, just, just, just for reference. Well, let's see. You're a very fast sprinter. And a bold speaker. Oh yeah, I rock at that stuff. You're also very laid back. Even when your grades are dismal, it doesn't faze you at all. Yeah, that's true. And... And what? I think that's it. You gotta be kidding me. Hey, Joker, you've known me for a while. There's gotta be more than that, right? Did we 
ever talk about animals? Oh, you mean his wild side. It shows in his dancing. He's like a monkey. That must be how he gets along with Mona-chan so well. Don't try to make sense of that shit. You're just making it worse. <sighs> I'm done with this. I'll show you guys. I'm gonna train up my dance skills and blow you all away. That competitive spirit of yours is a positive trait too, isn't it? Oh, stop. Come on, let's get practicing. I'm using muscles I forgot I even had. It's tough, but I think I'm getting the hang of it. Let's take a little break. Dancing is a test of stamina, after all. It's taxing on the body and mind. I know we've been resting now and then, but I worry about the fatigue piling up. I've got just the thing for times like these. Eat it, and your exhaustion melts right off. What the? That sounds like some voodoo magic. Right? You gotta give it a try. Works like a charm. But damn, I can't make it here. I, I need the ingredients. Ingredients? You cook, Ryuji? Nothing fancy. You just chop up lemons and soak them in honey. Tastes good no matter what, but if you're dead tired, it'll perk you right up. Just thinking about it makes my mouth pucker up. But that does sound good for your body. How'd you find out about it? Oh, my mom taught me. She used to make it for me all the time. It got to be so often, I felt bad to keep asking her for it. Oh, Ryuji! I never knew you were actually a considerate son! Oh, shut up! What do you mean, actually? Well, I was a major pain in the ass before. Gotta do what I can to make her life a little easier. Uh, uh, it's really nothing. I, I just feel like doing it, okay? I have a newfound respect for you. Caring for your family is the mark of a true gentleman. That's just basic shit. You're making way too big a deal out of this. You know, my mom's been in a real good mood lately. Think it's because of the Phantom Thieves? I've been laying low at school and behaving myself since then. She must have noticed how happy and healthy you looked with your new sense of purpose. Parents can tell these things. Be sure to take care of her. <laughs> know it all. Yeah, I'll think about it. If you show the world what a family man you are, maybe you'll finally see some popularity. What the hell? You're talking like I'm not popular already. I've got nothing to worry about on that front. I could pick up a girl or two anytime I want. Uh -huh. Why are you looking at me like that? Ugh, damn it! Besides, I, I never said I actually had a girlfriend. I've been too busy with Phantom Thief stuff. Kind of pity. Seems it'll be a while before his mom's heart will be fully at ease. What are you, my grandma? You cat bastard. Want me to grab the spray bottle? It's lemon juice! I'd like to see you try. Not like you could ever catch me. Practicing's important, but you gotta rest, too. Come on, let's chill for a bit. So this is Ryuji's room. Make yourself at home. Why are you saying that? Wait, why are you even here? Did I invite you? I wanna borrow some manga. I read all the stuff in my room already. I'm bored. Fine, take whatever you want. Come to think of it, this is your first time here, yeah? 
What do you think? Wait, really? I smell instant ramen? No, you had instant yakisoba, didn't you? He ain't wrong, but geez, you guys have dog noses or something? Girls are sensitive to smell. If you're gonna have us over, be more considerate next time. I don't care. You came here on your own. Just forget her. Let's try to relax, yeah? Hey, is that a trophy over there? Where'd you get it? Oh, that? Uh, I got it back in middle school. Won first place by a landslide in the newcomer's race that fall. Man, he should have seen me. And you're just letting it collect dust? Come on, at least wipe it down now and then. Yeah, I hear ya. The truth is, I've been wanting to get rid of it. When I look at that thing, a lot of memories come flooding back. The time I won by a landslide, and the time I ruined it all. It keeps pissing me off, so I shove the damn thing in the trash, but I always end up taking it back. Oh, I didn't realize. I'm sorry. Ah, hey, no worries. Maybe I really should start taking better care of it. Focus on the good times. And actually, I'm getting back in shape for track thanks to all that training we did. Might be nice to compete again one of these days. That's thanks to you I can think like that, man. No matter how bad I F things up, I just gotta get back up and try again, right? Oh yeah, I'm gonna blow the competition out of the water. Don't blink, or you'll miss me crossing the finish line. Whoa, this is like a real life manga. You guys have the ultimate bro bond. <laughs> I guess so. He's crazier than he looks. I've been through hell and back with this guy. Spoken like a true dude bro, Ryuji. Bet you've got some naughty magazines under your bed. Maybe I should take a look. I don't. You really think I'd hide him in the most obvious place? Oh, God damn it! Don't go digging around in there! Yips! Now he's mad! Run away! What are you getting all comfy for? Break time's over. Let's get back to practicing. I'm so tired. My HP's still low. Sleepy time now. Come on, don't be lazy. If you get off your ass and try a little harder, it'll pay off, I swear. What about you? Think you can keep going? Do you have infinite stamina or something? You guys aren't human. Don't hold me to your crazy standards. I'm not made for this. I'm not that much different, but it's no pain, no gain, you know? If you just give up when the going gets tough, you'll never get any better. Well, it's the same way we all manage to get through stuff with the Phantom Thieves, yeah? I guess that's true. Not gonna lie, I feel like quitting all the time. But that's when you gotta try the hardest. I don't want to look back on it someday and regret being a lazy bum. Half-assing things just ain't my style. So come on, if we're gonna do it, let's go all the way. Such wise words. Like a real senpai. So moe. You know, I really was a senpai to my track team back in middle school. Ryuji senpai, huh? Nope, can't see it. Come on! I'll have you know, I was the talk of the team. They called me Sprint Master Sakamoto. People put letters in my shoe locker and waited for me after the meet. Aw, oh, man, that takes me back. Objection! That backstory doesn't fit your character. But it's true! A and why are you talking to me like I'm some anime character? Ugh, enough chat. I'm gonna go back to practicing. Oh well, guess if I'm the brains, you're the brawn. I'll come along just this once, Ryuji Paisen. It's Senpai. Who died and made you queen?
There's no time to waste. Hop to it, Bison. Shut it. I call the shots here, rookie. Should we leapfrog our way there? Hippity hop! Hell no! I see you've been working hard, Ryuji. You're making excellent progress. Yeah, I'm into it. Kind of makes me want to keep at it when we get back to the real world. What do you think? I'm pretty much a pro now, huh? That's pretty arrogant, man. But you know, I can't say you're wrong. I'll keep training just to get better than you someday. You might be in trouble if you don't take him seriously. Ryuji's a serious threat. Uh, is it my turn to dance yet? My whole body's itching to get back on stage. Keep it together, Ryuji. If you want to dance that badly, why don't we go do some practice? Practice is nice and all, but it's nothing compared to the real thing. Seeing everything come together as the crowd cheers you on, oh, man, it's the best. Right? I don't know how to explain it, but it just gives me the shivers. It's like my old track meets, that moment when I finish first and the crowd goes wild. So basically, you just want the attention. You never change, Ryuji. What's wrong with that? You guys are having fun with it too. You know, maybe you're right that I haven't changed. I can't seem to let go of that feeling, that need to get up and show off in front of everyone. All because I want to stand out. <laughs> it's immature, ain't it? Maybe I haven't grown at all. Oh yeah? I guess that settles it. If I didn't do all that, we'd never hype this place up enough to win. Here I thought you were actually doing some self-reflection for once. Well, you've got a one-track mind, so might as well try to be a track star. <laughs> Can it, you damn cat. What's that? You wanna fight? <laughs> um, what? That was a little creepy. Uh, nothing. I was just thinking that life ain't half bad with you guys around. I used to be a good for nothing, but now I got a place to belong, a way of helping people. And now we're even doing crazy shit like this. It's because of you guys that I got to do all this cool stuff. So, you know, thanks. I hope we can keep it up for a long time. Hey, Ryuji's actually being humble. Do you think he ate something bad? Maybe he rocked so hard his brain fell out. The hell? You asking to be beat? Aha! There we go! Good old Ryuji back with the hot-blooded schoolyard threats. I was trying to be serious, you goddamn cat! Yes, yes. That uncivilized banter is far more natural for you, Ryuji. Who are you calling uncivilized? Why, you little... Get back here! 